Our defending champion now, Dave Richards, working on a spear. Here's the fill. He gets nine as the fill. The eight pin is the single pin that's standing. Well, you can tell, even those of you who are unsighted, that he did not get that one. He makes it for a 10. Dave is in fourth place for our True Value Championship the last Saturday in August. He and Tom Surrett are tied as far as the 422 that they each rolled. Couple of pins still standing. They rocked, but they didn't go down. It's five and six. But the reason that he's in fourth place over Tom Charette's five is, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Yes, he used the wood beautifully and made that because of our tiebreaker, which is who had more marks. And Dave had 18 marks in rolling a 422. Tom Charette had 17 marks in rolling his 422. Paul Berger. Paul gets a thin hit for him. He gets just five. Two, four, seven, and eight on the left. Ten pin over on the right. And he made it! Oh, baby, when you're hot, you're hot. Ten consecutive marks. Ten. Five to end the first string, five to begin the middle string. Another fill of five. No more. Another one just tumbled. So it's six. He has the seven pin alone. He has the three, six, and ten. Two pieces of wood, one to the left, one to the right of the three pin. And the bonus streak stops at 10 consecutive marks. Dave Richards. Dave gets seven, leaving the two, eight, and nine, but there's some wood there. Ooh, it didn't do what he thought it was going to do at all. It got rid of the two pin, but, and now he got rid of the eight. The nine's still there. left side one two four and seven our crew today Howie Rouse Judy Guile Kevin McSheffrey and John Rosenfeld Don Riley of course is our coordinator and uh, statistician and Phil Rubin is our producer director In post-production videotape, George Ellard. Paul Berger looking right now at two, four, and six. See if he can make this one. Yes, he did. Yes, yes, he did. Piece of wood that he was able to spin over and get it. It looked as if he was only going to get the two to four. I have an announcement about our show for next week, but I'm going to hold up until we see what Paul does here. And he gets how many? He gets six, leaves a triangle on the right made up of the three, five, and six, and he also has the seven pin. Didn't get the three. I want to remind you that next week, we will be on at 11 a.m. 
So mark it down, 11 a.m., that's on Channel 5 in Boston. The same program, obviously on videotape, will be shown on Channel 40 in Springfield at 10 a.m. on Sunday. That's because of the Indianapolis time trials that'll be running from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Okay, Channel 5 next week. We're on at 11 a.m. on Saturday, on Channel 40, Sunday at 10 a.m. It's a nine for Dave Richards. Nine pin drop, he's looking at the 10 pin for a spare. He had another piece of wood act as a roadblock. It's a 10, and he winds up with a 119, which obviously is disappointing for him. Burger. Seven and nine are the two pins that are standing. There are two pieces of wood, but right now they're not in a particularly favorable position for him. He was able to get the nine, but not to get the seven. Remember, he had a 158 opening string. A strike! 139. So close to getting two strikes. Oh, man. The five pin, that's the only one. <laughs> 149. And, of course, another $50 in bonus money for winning the middle string by the score of 149 to 119. And after... Two strings. It is Paul Berger, 307. Dave Richards, 244.